Hi guys, welcome to my channel. So today I will show you my build, my uh, final build one year project. Uh, so I hope you will find some tips and tricks for you, which will help to your build. So on the top, I have the 3D printed uh, anti-sync plate with the, with the brass treats inside. Uh, I'm using this for the fixation of my uh, light holder. Uh, which I also designed like a 3D print. Below are the Matrix 2 tracks with the plastic base plate and to compensate the height I'm using also the spacer from 3D prints. Uh, normally uh, I'm using these lights, uh, the type you can see in the description. It looks nice I would say. And uh, as you can see also I'm using the uh, the lights on the back side there is a holder for the on the on my vest case uh, for the foot i'm using the grip normal grip from the decathlon and uh, i use the uh, bindings from the mbs and i'm also also using the health straps you can see uh, i'm really satisfied with this i was not believe how somebody can uh, write on it with the health straps but after one month without this uh, i decide to buy it and i'm really satisfied with this i'm using the hyro brodeck the stiffer one uh, nice flex for me uh, not so less not so much uh, i'm really enjoying the ride uh, i'm riding a lot of uh, uh, the gravel terrain and uh, also riding uh, on the on the on the city and the cycling areas, and uh, it's a uh, it, it's great uh, feeling uh, for me. So uh, I'm using for the for the battery box uh, fixation the silent blocks. You can see the type right now on the screen. This is also something what I'm very satisfied uh, the fixed grade battery um, on place, uh, the battery box on place and uh, still the battery have a lot of flex. Uh, so nothing is damaging, no jabbing of the screws uh, for the plastic uh, box. Uh, everything is compensated by the rubber. On the side you can see the pin for the charging. I'm used the a pin with IP67 protection and uh, for the battery I use the silicone neutral silicone to fix it as you can saw around was the foam I covered uh, the screws by the foam because the the silent blocks uh, I'm using are uh, fixed by screws from the top so foam is covering the silent blocks and uh, in the middle is a gap for silicone and this uh, works well and fixing well uh, and still i have the flex without no damage of the battery box and and other things on the back side i have the the motor mounts what i designed this is the my chain drive as you know uh, it was designed for optimal wear ratio uh, and if you would like to know more details about this you can check my video about the uh, uh, chain drive uh, what I already have and uh, mm, yeah I already ride on it around 500 kilometers without no issue just needs to be greased you you hear this on the sound when the when the, the uh, when the chain need to be greased on the top I have my uh, box for whisks is a 3d printed box uh, on the resin on the top and matte color uh, i would say it looks nice from the below there are the cables and holes for the cables there are the rubber gaskets around and uh, and the uh, vesk is uh, fixate uh, by adhesive double tape uh, uh, double side adhesive tape uh, uh, heat sharing uh, this is also works well. I have no issue with this and you, you can saw I also use the uh, Kapton tape on the top of the PCB to avoid contact between cables and the PCB components. Uh, uh, so I'm maybe a little bit paranoid, but I don't want uh, 
have any damage uh, between between those components. Uh, yeah, so next uh, you can see I using the matrix uh, two tracks on the back side, but there are the tracks with the metal base plate, no plastic like on the front. So the metal mm, metal base plate uh, on the back or tile, I would say, is a must because there is a really really big uh, power from the motors. I'm using 104 kV motors and uh, uh, when you are riding aggressively like me, you are feeling uh, big power behind. So so uh, you need to have a metal metal base plates. Uh, there is a prototype uh, picture from my sprocket. Uh, you can see uh, how big is. So there is a big clearance between the sprocket and uh, road. So this is uh, something what I did because of the safety and weight reduction. Therefore I have 140 kV motors. There are the there are the detection of the motors and my setup what I'm riding and right now I will uh, show you uh, the sound of my chamber. So I need slightly tight the chain now but as you heard it was still nice sound. So have a nice day guys and uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Bye.